not the people that I have bonded out or another bondsman has contracted me to find. You know if the county's gonna take her? I don't care. As long as I get released, I'll take her to the judge real quick. It's three o'clock. So I'll run her over to the common pleas to see the judge real quick to the bailiff. Is Yes, I'm taking her into custody right now. Yeah, I don't know how to go. Okay, okay, that's fine. You gotta figure that I out. I went to my court date. No, hey, you caught another another charge. You never went back. But that's when I had to get. They told me to go to another court date. I went to the courthouse. Come on, a little bit. Let's go. go. A little bit. What's Let's up? go. How you doing, sir? Hey guys, go ahead and search that. I'm gonna talk to him. Do you, do, has she, has she, uh, has contact with him even? Hmm? Has she had contact with him? I don't know, talked to her either. So has she, her. has she avoided y'all? Hmm? The girl? Yeah, she has avoided her. They wasn't lying, man. You could tell when people are lying. They some good, wholesome, good people, man. So, dude literally, milk, milk out here splashing, splashing all his family. Goddamn milk. Milk, you ain't shit. It's not going to close. All right, she trying to act tough, you know, just mm -hmm. nonchalant. She don't care, but I guarantee you mm -hmm. she's going to get on the phone with her son, and I'm going to get a phone call. So, again, this was the last resort, man. Last time we came here was months ago. We gave them months, literally, to turn themselves in. So, until, you know, sometimes you got to keep fucking with people until they, until they turn themselves in. So, literally... Um, every time she gets a door fixed, I'm bringing this one. This 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 thick girl right here. She, me and her coming through, and she like to get loose. She busts it wide open. All right, guys, give you a brief update um, because what happened following this is not videotaped. Um, I got a call the following day from the Parma a Parma police officer by the name of Officer Smith. It's a she. Um, I remember the name because she was very rude. She called me, basically telling me what I couldn't and could not do, and what I did was illegal, and she's gonna talk to the prosecutor and get me charged of burglary, which, if I did do something illegal, the charge wouldn't be burglary. Burglary means you broke in someone's house and you stole something. Only thing I would've stole is her damn, you know, her, her spirit. <laughs> That's about it. But the, the, the charge would've been breaking and entering, which, it's not anyway because I'm well within my legal rights to do what I'm doing. Um, she didn't bother to look up the law. She didn't do anything. She just called me and told me what I did was wrong and basically I'm gonna catch a charge. So, of course I have my attorney go up there and handle it, so we're seeing what's gonna happen now. So I'm sure once they read the law, they're gonna see that, you know, she was in the wrong. You know, guys happened to happen probably about a year and a half ago, the same incident happened with a, with a uh, Akron PD officer. So. Um, just to give you an update with that, what's going on, and again, she was very rude and unprofessional, man. I'm a little disappointed. I did meet some good 
Palmer cops, man, they were super cool, very personal people. This lady was not it. Um, also, I had a conversation with mom afterwards, a very cordial conversation. And, you know, we came up with, basically, you know, her son doesn't give a shit about her. It's sad, she's sad about it, and, you know, it's, 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 it's just a fucked up situation. He put her in, in this situation and he doesn't care, man. So, um, I won't be going to mom's house again. There's no point. And I wish she would have had a cordial conversation with me the first time we met. You guys remember the first time, it was just hectic. Because if we would have had a cordial conversation the first time, we could have came to the point we are right now of understanding that he just doesn't care. You know, it's not her helping him. It's he does not give a fuck about his mom again, which is sad. So um, mom is cooperating right now and things are cordial. And I plan on finishing this very soon, man. So guys, just stay tuned and I'll keep you updated also about baby milk because his name is fucking baby milk. Catch y'all later. All right, guys, after speaking with the detective who was working this case over the complaint that, uh, you know, that his mom filed on me um as you see it was dismissed she also lied and said we were over aggressive with guns and just a whole bunch of bullshit this is why i record everything because i refuse for someone to lie on me How you doing? I'm good. I'm looking for Lyndon. Who? Lyndon. Lyndon? Yeah. I don't know who that is. How long have you been uh, staying here? Uh, about three weeks. Oh, so you just moved here? I just moved here. Okay, do you get mail from anyone? At all? I just changed our address. You get anybody from Julian. my Ellis? Julian. No, this is me. Julian? Okay, yeah, Julian. Okay. I don't know who that is. Okay. Or Lyndon. Yeah. But that's me. Okay. All right, so you get oh. stuff in the water time. Okay, you only been here for a couple weeks. Yeah, the first. Okay, gotcha. All right, well, they uh have warrants, so that's why I'm here. Okay. So. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. Okay. No, you're okay, ma'am. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Lady been living here for three weeks, so that means they moved out. So now we on the hunt, hunt. Hey, what floor is that? Tell him peek in the window. Peek in the window. Any movement? street come outside.
right, so we finally found an accurate address for Julian, who's the co-signer, and Linda, who's the defendant. Um, there was no answer, but trust, we're coming back. Right hand turn. <laughs> Wait, you turn. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry to bother you. Know. You ever seen them? Uh, maybe. Black, black vaguely, kids? Yeah. Black young kids? Um, maybe younger, probably. Late 20s. 20s, 20s, 30s. Yeah. Two of them? I think so. Gotcha. I don't. Okay. Thank you. Sorry about that. Thank you. No Just confirmed that this is the spot of the co-signer, so. This gives us a legal right to go in, but I'm gonna try to call maintenance to see if they can just open it up without us using the, uh, you know, the, uh, the round. The air conditioner on, it's probably a high chance that someone's in there. So I would like to save the door, you know, I know you guys have anything to do with it, so that's why I'm calling the head. All right, if you don't hear anything within 20 minutes, you gotta do what you gotta do, but okay. I put that in there. All right, we got the maintenance to come open up the door. Um, like I said, you don't always have to kick the door in. But if there's another route, I like to take the other route. It's just less complications. Don't get me wrong, if he wasn't going to come, we was going to use that ramp. So um, he's going to come open the door and we'll see if they're in here or not. If not, we'll uh, close it, leave it as normal, and just watch because we know he's going to come back. Is that one? All right. Nah, um. Okay, the maintenance man did come, but he didn't have the keys to the door, which is why I called in the first place. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little confused on, you know, what happened, but he showed up with some tools to open the door. I'm like, bruh, we got the tools. <laughs> Bill Wallace! Bill Wallace! So we left a business card. He'll get in contact. Uh, he wasn't in there. He wasn't in there. But um, again, we had to see the air conditioner was on. Though it is hot, he might have just left it on. But I couldn't take that chance, so uh, we'll be back. Left a card there for him. We'll see if he called back. Uh, we off to the next destination, man. I got another guy on the run, a Michael Michael Bauer. So we're gonna go take a, a scroll to the uh, co-signer's house, man. Let's see what the fuck's going on. This should be interesting. We're on the 200 block of what is it, Felton Avenue, to possibly serve a warrant. F E N T O N. F S F as in Frank. R. I'm sorry. F as in Frank. E N T O N. Frank Frazier. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Guys, if you see me call in, it's because it's by law. You're supposed to call in. To uh, alert the police 
anytime you're in the area so they know in which is mile, turn right onto Orchard Street. safety precaution man because what you don't want is to be about to uh, serve a warrant you got your gear on guns and everything and then you don't call in and they call in and say hey I'm getting robbed which which has happened I've had people call and say they're getting robbed knowing it's me the cops roll up all they see is guys and our you know and with us black guys big black guys with, with guns I mean it's, it's a recipe for disaster so you call ahead of time man. save your ass and it's a misdemeanor charge if you don't do it died in this house off of fire, so that's what he's telling us. Yep, I definitely know that. Alright, so, uh, obviously they moved out from what we was told. Somebody got set on fire, burnt up in this house at one point. So, um, this is where the co-signer originally lived, so back to the draw for, drawing board. I gotta look him up, man, see where he's living now, but I'm on your ass, Matthew. It's a matter of time. What's happening, y'all? So, literally, we just got a call. Somebody missed court this morning, so uh, Chris ran and grabbed the warrant real fast. And Chris is actually at the house right now. He spotted dude. He's, he's going. I told him to wait till I get there. But you just never know. When you by yourself, shit can go wrong. So I mean, I'm not that far away. Probably about 12 minutes, so we're gonna run and grab this cat. Um, like I said, he just missed court this, this morning. Right, when you come up here, you see that white house to your, to your right? Yeah. It's right there, that green house, right beside it. To your right. That big old green house. Yeah, he be on the other side of the duplex. Let me try to come around so I can. I'm trying to get cut through the house. Yeah, you can come around that street so I can see. Yeah, you can see don't, Shriver, don't go all the way down to 12th Street. Either way, you gotta come around that corner. Somebody putting up with this this blue car though. He's probably in the house and on the on the one side. Alright, come on, let's, we might as well just hit this bitch. I'm gonna pull up super close as I can to this side door. You going to the side, I'm going to the front. I'm gonna go through the back, but I'm gonna cut the side off with my car. Yo! He's upstairs in the attic, she said. Is there a way to get out the attic? No. He's stuck up there? Yeah. Who else is up there? My kids, my boyfriend, my dad. Why is he hiding? There's no way that he's hiding. He's not hiding. His room is in the attic. That's his bedroom. He's the attic. Hey man, come downstairs and we gonna come up here. Where are the hiding places at in the attic?
I'm just fucking sick of it. I can't go in my room because the dog will come on and attack his ass. Go up there. You can search my whole house. I don't know if Nick's here. When I came here this morning, when I woke up this morning, he was laying on my living room floor. If he's not here, he's not here. The only place he'd be is in that attic. I need a cigarette. Thank you. Who are you? Where is that? Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? What's your name? Well, Nick. Are you Nicholas? Yes, sir. All right, get up, turn your hands, put your hands behind your back. Four. You got a warrant for your arrest. For what? You missed court this morning. No, I did not. Yes, you did. How? You missed court. No, I didn't. I'm telling you, you did. Oh, are you telling me that it was this Wednesday? Yep, so uh, Today's Wednesday? Today is Wednesday. Oh, man. Shit. Can I at least get a lighter in there? Yep. Oh, my God. You got anything on you don't want to go to jail with? I don't know. You didn't let me look. Well, we'll look out downstairs. It's hot as fuck up here. I know. Good? Yep. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Today's not Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, my man. What? Twenty second? Huh? Twenty today? Chris! Got him! thought that court was not until next yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. It's next Wednesday. So how did I miss court? No. Nah, when was the court today? No. No, he went to court. Not this morning. Yes, he went to court. Yes, he did. He has his court. Can I get a lighter, please? I have the warrant. They issued a warrant for you today. But I have my court I, It ain't. It ain't really nothing we could do about it. Issue the warrant, so we got to take you back. You know I don't what understand mean? how so they it ain't, issued it ain't, a warrant. If you went to court, you had to fix it with them. It ain't personal, but they they did I issue did a warrant for him, so we got to bring him back. That doesn't even make no fucking sense. Yeah, I Maybe they because I didn't show up yesterday to sign the papers. Man. No, it ain't got nothing to do with that. And the next day, listen. The next time I tell you to do something, you fucking do it. You understand hey, me? Come on. I told man. you to come and sign them fucking papers. But this Please ain't got nothing to do with my brother no, like that. I Please. I had to deal with something to fight this case. I messed up. But I'm not understanding how he got the fucking warrant whenever he went to court. Hold on. So, it's not really nothing we can tell you. All we know is, because we loan the money, is we got a warrant for his arrest. So, at that point, we got to take him back in, regardless if the court messed up or anything. We don't know. All we know is he has a warrant, and we got to take him back because it's $25,000 on the line. Could it so, be because he fucking, he showed up late to court? That could be. That could be. You can't show up late to court. I don't know what it is. But he's seen the judge. But he, he had court this morning. He didn't show up this morning. So maybe he has two different court dates. He might got confused. He might have got something confused. I mean, when if that's the case. Is today Wednesday? Today is Wednesday. You It, you pro he, it was probably was today. Was yeah. So maybe you got your dates confused, man, but. I'll call and take care of it. All right, guys, you guys remember earlier we had to go to uh, DeAndre Dorsey's mom's house for the second time. Um, and this time we had to break entry. 
There's always a method to my madness. I told you if I did what I did, she would get on the phone with him and this would probably get resolved. And what do you know, I get a call from him and he turned himself in. <laughs> Again, I don't fuck with people just because I want to fuck with people. There's always a method. There's always a reason why I'm doing it. There's always a conclusion that I'm trying to get out of it. Always remember that.